Well, hi everybody. <laughs> Another unboxing, or maybe a little bit. A brand new make for me, Sonic Models, and it's the Robinson A5. Just come in from Rails of Sheffield, and as you can see, we got tested. I talked to them about that, and apparently they do um, a certain number out of every batch. So, we should find that it works okay. Brand new manufacturer. I've uh, got a bit of history on the loco here, which we'll go through later. And uh, for those that are interested, there's the details on the box. So we will see what's inside. Looking forward to this. Running in approximately one hour, unloaded at medium speed in each direction. This will free up moving parts, so it needs an hour. And we've got where to fit the decoders, how to do it. And if you can see the diagram here, very simple mechanism by the look of it, which is not a bad thing. And how to fit the brake linkage, the fire irons, Ooh. cab interior access. Well, that's handy, isn't it? And a warranty, 12 month warranty. Let's get to the main event. Accessory packet. We'll look at that later. I just want to get the loco out. Let's have it around this way. Oh, look. Oh, she's heavy. And there she is, guys. Comes with lamps fitted. I like that. And well, there she is, guys. Wow, what a beauty. Apart from the fingerprints that I've put there, let's just try her, see if she moves. <laughs> Positive. That doesn't seem too bad, does it? time you look at it there's a few more little details that seem to have I don't know is that the reverser in there perhaps we've got these little valves here to do with lubricants perhaps um, yeah I can't wait to get it down on the track shall we do that next guys So welcome down to the layout and we join it as the A5 is just finishing its running in period. Now what I've noticed is that it doesn't like the tighter curves, that may be something that will improve as things do run in, um, and it runs a tiny bit warm, the motor must be located just back from the chimney and the area of the body here just gets a little bit warm not hot warm so again hopefully something that might pass if it doesn't I should be opening her up to have a look but it sounds like it's well oiled So regarding the tight spot, she's about to come into one now, so I've slowed her down a little bit and let you watch. I don't really know why, because it's just a, straight, a normal curve. For those interested in the technical details, she initially drew 150 milliamps whilst running in, and that has now dropped. And we're down to about 110, 120, which is pretty good. Okay, so um, one thing that I noticed is she only picks up off her driving wheels, that's the six wheels, which is pretty much okay, but um, you could have thought that she would have picked up off the um, 
bogey at the front as well to make it really good. But let's see nonetheless if she can get through this crossover set track points with the um, normal Hornby plastic bits in it. A little bit of a snag but she got through okay. We're now set her running backwards for the next um, half an hour. Don't worry I won't show you that. What I will show you is her going around the slightly tighter curves on the inner loop. Now she does snag a little bit at the moment so I'm hoping as the axles bed into the bearings it'll all run in. I expect we'll see on Sam's trains fairly soon um, an in-depth review showing whether or not we've got proper turned bearings in there or not. Alright, running in is nearly over so let's put her up with an appropriate train and do some nice views for you. The Great Central Railway Class 9M, later LNER Class A5, was Robinson's last passenger tank design. They were designed to pull the hard suburban services out of Marlborough in London. They were built between 1911 and 1926 and a total of 44 existed. Over the years, the A5 saw a number of modifications and improvements, including different superheaters, rock pop safety valves, and even a form of automatic train control that would stop the train by means of track mounted equipment. They all had water pick up equipment, but this fell into disuse by the 1940s. They had a good tractive effort of £23,743 and an alleged top speed of 70 miles per hour. They were later rated as 4P. The last A5 withdrawn was in 1960 and none survived into preservation. The loco model number 5024 is seen in LNER red lined black livery making her in 1923 to 1942 livery, maybe a little later depending on wartime repaints to plain black. The loco was new on the 1st of July 1911, would be repainted as seen in June 1925. 
In 1926, due to the coal shortage, she was converted to oil firing at Nine Elms Depot, but this was reverted a year later. She was withdrawn and scrapped in late 1958, with 47 years and 13 days service behind her.